everyone, it's Felicity back here from Hip Kits with a layout for um, the product focus using the Vicky Booten embellishments. And I'm using the December kit. Now I've started off with the background with that gorgeous shimmers um, putting on the glitz and the stencil that was in the color kit. And now I'm using some of the other shimmers as well just to add a little bit more color. Now that background paper I'm using, yes, it's not white card stock. Woohoo! <laughs> no, that paper is exclusive to um, hip kits, and I loved it. I I was tempted, yes, I was tempted to cut out the flowers, and thankfully I've got another piece that I can do that with. But I really, really wanted to use it as a background. Now I did fiddle a lot off camera trying to get the background to work. I turned the page this way, I turned it that way, turned it back again. No, don't like that. Got out white cardstock. No, come on, let's use that. Yeah, and the process went. Anyway, so I think this page is actually like nearly 180 degrees to um, how you would actually purchase it. Or where the um, bottom um, strip is. I don't know what you call that. You know the little bottom strip that tells you the name of the paper? Yeah, um, I think it's supposed to be on the right side, but I cut it off. Um, but anyways, so then I had a lot of trouble with placing my photo and I did turn the camera off here at one point um, because I just struggled to get things in the right place and I wanted to add more pink and yellow but then it was too much more pink and yellow so I added in blue and purple and we went on and on and on and on and on <laughs> so you missed the circus act. <laughs> um, so then now I just lay it obviously underneath the photo and more exclusive papers and things like that. Now I did use two photos here and doubled up. The reason was the first one I printed um, had lines on it so I had to do a nozzle, you know the nozzle head check because I print my photos at home. Um, had to clean it and then I printed another one and I was like oh, I still didn't want to waste that photo. So I used it as a layer and yeah it looks pretty cool. So now I just fiddle with all the Vicky Booten embellishments which you can see beside me on the left and I fiddle and I fiddle and I want to use this one I want to use that one and I want to use that one again and yeah a bit how I go isn't it so I just layered literally just layered a lot of embellishments um, I tried to use a few black and white ones as well um, because I just felt that it was getting a bit too much pink and yellow for me um, but I got there in the end and that mason jar is so cute it was just another it was kind of like a tag i suppose um and it worked really well so yeah i do like how this turned out just mainly concentrating on yeah the vicky Booten embellishments and there's some sticker sheets in it as well the little clip up the top with the bird um yeah lots of fun and thankfully i've still got more left and how cute are those butterflies Yes, they're cute, aren't they? So I added them in too. And a lot of it's just on 3D tape, 3D foam dots as well, just to add a little bit of a wow to it. And I added my feathers. Yeah. So you can just see, oh, did you see little hands there? My daughter was awake when I was doing this. I was like, ah, oh, she was happy. And when she's happy and quiet and playing, I generally I sometimes sneak away for five minutes, um, make the most of just recharging myself, um, which I talked about in a previous video. Just spending time with my paper and my glue and my embellishments and my paint, just recharging. And yeah, so she surfaced. She come over and that's okay because I still kept working, <laughs> still kept playing. I think she was using my, my 3D foam dots over. She, I think at the time she might have been sitting and colouring and drawing as well. So she was just doing what mum's doing it at her pace. <laughs> so, yeah. And these stickers um, are so good. You can actually use them as your journaling or as your title. And it's, I don't know why, I very rarely actually put a full title on my page. I think because often I look at it and I go, I don't know, there's not one single word that I I guess would describe what's going on here. 
or there's a single word and I don't really want to have it big and bold. So I tend to mostly just use, to be honest, the sticker sentiments from a lot of um, what comes in hip kits as my journaling and as my title. And that's totally okay. You don't have to put a great big title. And most of the time too, when I finish these pages before they go in albums, I actually always flip over my page and I hand journal. So I guess that that is something that um, you would want to hear or want to, sorry, see is hand journaling because in years to come, it's really interesting to look back at what your writing was and your kids will love it too. Um, or your grandkids or whoever's looking at your pages. So um, generally that's what I do because there's always, I mean, I document my photos for a reason and I scrapbook for a reason to, re to preserve memories. So I will always add journaling. And as I said, it can be lots, it can be not much. And most of the time it's just on the back of the page because I have lots of room to do it. And often too, I find it difficult to journal on the page itself because of all the mixed media that I put on there. My pens don't always like it. So I just put it on the back. But I mean, it's a great personal touch to add it to the front. And maybe I should be trying to challenge myself to add more hand journaling to the front of my pages, maybe. Something I guess I can look at doing, so. Yeah, so there we go. This was a photo actually of my eldest son and my daughter, so the eldest and the youngest here. Um, I don't even know what they were doing at the time. I think they were actually clowning around at the time and yeah, that's the best time to take photos in their natural environment, I suppose, and when they're just playing, so yeah. I love that green. And I can't remember if I end up putting that in. I think I tuck it in at the top. Yeah, and I fiddle. I want to add more of these paper clips in because they're cute. And I just was like, where, how, what? And then I add the butterfly. Look at that. It looks a bit cute, doesn't it? So I just keep playing and playing here. More 3D dots. And then I end up um, finishing with just a little bit of, um, it's like a royal blue thread um, across the top and down the right. Just to add a little, another little color and to bring that purple through a little bit more. But I do actually in the end like how this turned out because I actually used something that wasn't white cardstock. So that's, that's a defeat in itself. Anyways, I'm coming up to the end now. So I will leave links in the bottom two hip kits. Um, make sure you pop over to the blog and have a look at the other girls who have also used the Vicky Bruton embellishments. And I'll also leave a comment, um, a link below to my blog as well. All right, guys, have a good rest of the week and I shall see you in my next video. Bye.